The weather in late June was perfect for Mississippi's wheat harvest. Farm Week visited one farm north of the Ripley area near the Tennessee state line where yields were being described as wonderful. There was little time to celebrate though as the process of planting soybeans behind the wheat began even as a combine was still harvesting. At 450 acres, it was the largest winter wheat crop Keith Morton had ever planted on his Tippa County farm. On the first day of harvest, it wasn't long after the combine began crisscrossing his fields in Faulkner that Morton was able to confirm what he already suspected. It was going to be an outstanding harvest. So far, the yields are running about 80 bushels as an average. And praise God, that is a wonderful yield. We've been uh, in some fields that have cut into the hundreds, according to the yield monitor. As he usually does, Keith had hired fellow farmer Matt Orman to bring in his combine, harvest the grain, and help haul it to the elevator. Meanwhile, the windrows of wheat straw dropped back onto the field by the combine were mechanically bundled into both round bales and square bales by a second custom harvester, a local highway landscape contractor. They buy the wheat straw and they use it on highway projects or right-of-ways or any type of construction uh, project that requires erosion control. So it, uh, it adds another revenue stream for me. Plus it helps get some of the uh, residue out of the way so I can plant into cleaner ground. Keith plants Group 4 soybeans into the wheat stubble immediately while there is moisture. That's one reason he likes to have someone else do the wheat harvesting work as Matt Orman keeps the combine rolling and straw is still being baled by the highway landscape contractor, Keith Morton is in fact already running the planter in a field already harvested. His object is to get a faster stand of beans. As an experienced no-till farmer, Keith Morton modified the lower front edge of his planter for coming in behind wheat. He mounted residue managers or cleaners to get the stubble out of the way of the disc opener. He says this provides better seed to soil contact in the wheat stubble for the group four soybeans. From Faulkner, Mississippi, I'm Leighton Span reporting.